Well, let's get more now on Facebook, the world's largest social networking service, adding new ways to monitor personal data on the site. It also updated a feature called Groups that makes it easier to interact with smaller clusters of friends. Let's head back to Palo Alto and our own Chris Valerio. Chris. Hey, Carol, that's right. And I'm actually here with Chris Cox. He is the head of product development here at Facebook. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. So if you could do this in layman's terms, what is the difference between what you guys have announced today for groups-wise and privacy-wise in a few sentences? So what we announced today is a brand new version of Facebook Groups, which allows people to quickly and easily create a, a private space for sharing stuff with smaller groups of their friends. So their family, their book club, their sports team, um, whomever it is, it's basically like a private space where they can go and share stuff with just that group. Now, Chris, I mean, the bottom line here has to be to get more people to spend more time on Facebook. Is that correct? I mean, this has got to be you're getting into areas perhaps that Google's already in, for instance, or using the email and chat. So how much do you think people will spend more time on Facebook as a result? So our goal isn't to get people on Facebook for the most amount of minutes. It's for them just to have the highest quality experience of interacting with people that, they care about. Isn't that inherent, though, in, in trying to build a better product? is to get them to be online more? Not necessarily. Why would you say that? Um, you could build something really confusing that causes you to spend a long time using it and it could actually be a worse product. Our goal is really about making it easy for people to see what's going on and share stuff with their friends, which may or may not be correlated with how many minutes they're using it. Do you think that at least users will be increased? Like how many users do you see coming to the site because they have these new features integrated? We definitely think it will enable like a whole new type of sharing. People have been asking for a long time. I want to use Facebook, but I don't necessarily want my to bother my grandmother and my boss when I'm telling people about my run I took this morning. So we knew that the answer to that was to, to model sort of the groups we have in real life. I have my running club to share that with. And so we were really just trying to build that space, and we think it will unlock like a whole new type of behavior on Facebook. The email feature and the chat that you guys introduced, how does that compare, for instance, to what Google already offers with Google Chat and Gmail? I mean, do you think people will use you as an email platform? So this is group chat. We've already offered chat for a long time, and this is just the ability to chat with the people that are online. Um, we think that'll be really useful, just like if the people from, for example, a, a design team that I'm working with, I can just go chat with them while they're on there. Chris Cox working with a lot of design teams. Thank you so much. We really <laughs> appreciate it.